Seiko made an all-new watch, and this one, a little bit interesting. I love the Seiko Turtle. I always end up buying it, and then flipping it, and then rebuying it. Why is that? Because I'm like you, a crazy watch enthusiast who's very picky, and it's a tad large for my taste, but I love it. So what do I do? I go into that cycle. This one, a little bit smaller, wears a little bit better. Now you have my attention. And this all new model, what are we calling it? The Seiko Tortoise. I like it. It is a land turtle. All right, but you said it wrong. It's the tortoise. And uh, that's the nickname, and I like that. Let's check it out. <laughs> Introducing the all new Seiko Tortoise SRPG 13. Look at this, an all new model from Seiko. Definitely warrants some excitement. And yes, I'm excited. This one is gorgeous. And I do have a turtle on the side here. I wish I could compare it and show you guys, but it's a mod for a customer and it has a dial, a questionable dial that I'm not allowed to show because I'm worried Same, something happened to Jody recently and I just can't show that turtle. But I can always grab one from Kavar Jewelers, an original turtle, and we can do another video. So the comparison will have to wait, but in this video, we're checking out this beauty. And yes, it does have a sapphire crystal. However, no AR coating. As you can see right there, the most powerful reflections on the planet because, <laughs> you know what, is that on purpose? Is that on purpose, Seiko? It might be. It might be because you know why? If we check out the back, <laughs> we have ground to air code. So if you're stranded on a desert island, you can see the codes right here. Uh, in need of food, need doctor, all is well. So you can check them out here. Now, if you don't have AR, you can flash the sun and get the airplane's attention. If you had AR, you're not going to flash anything. So this is a completely flat piece of sapphire. And that is the Rolex technique. They do a flat sapphire. So even though it reflects, when you look head on, you can read the time easily. Now the K shape is the iconic turtle. Yes, I love it. Beautiful cushion style case brushing on the top and high polish on the sides. Man, what an iconic case. I love it. And we do have high polish on the bevel of that crown guard where it begins. Just like the turtle, let's do the measurements. I got 42 even on the diameter. 11.6 in thickness. 11.6. Wow. Because it doesn't have that wave off Kanagawa sticking out here. And it's a flat sapphire. So amazing thinness and a lug to lug of 44.9. Now the bracelet, it doesn't come with one. It comes with this polyester strap, canvas type strap with a thin layer of leather on the inside. This is very stiff right here. And I don't know, I would replace it. It seems like a good quality strap. It's gonna be tough, reliable, robust. It's gonna match the personality of the watch. However, I don't know, six months maybe <laughs> to break in. So you're gonna have to suffer for six months unless anyone knows a trick. Please put it down in the comments below. But it's signed nicely, Seiko, and it's almost beat blasted finish. It's very nice, it feels substantial. We got a solid keeper that's not moving and we have a floating keeper right here. Okay, so that's the strap. In the future, I would like to see a bracelet on these new tortoises. Now let's check out the bezel and bezel insert. Coin edge bezel with an aluminum insert. Beautiful, my favorite style of insert is aluminum and coin edge. This coin edge does taper, 
gently this way. It's not a flat coin edge. There is a slight slope to it. Now the aluminum has a nice textured look. I love it. No one does aluminum inserts like Seiko. Well, Tudor does it good too, but yeah, these are phenomenal. Now I wish they put a dive style bezel on here so we could use it as a timer. As fun as a bi-directional is, I don't mind if they kept it bi-directional, but I would love numbers so I could do timing. For everyday activities, how long did I work out for? How long did it take me to drive to work? I use my dive style bezel on my divers all the time. And uh, I think it'll be a little bit more useful than the compass. I know this is a land tortoise and it is a field explorer style watch. So it makes sense. But I think the aftermarket is going to come in for us. I think they're going to make um, diver style inserts and that's going to be phenomenal. But they're probably going to be ceramic and sapphire. So they're going to be very shiny. So I don't know. I wish Seiko makes some aluminum original ones. That would be cool. Now the dial and hands. This one is a brand new dial. It looks like the turtle. However, it is clean cut. Those tips that you see sticking out of 12, 9, 3, and 6 are printed on. On the turtle, they are part of the indice in a 3D dimensional look. This one is just printed on and you get cleaner cuts to those indices. High polish indices you can see them. Let's see if I can get it catching the light right there. It's catching high polish hands, no counterbalance on that minute hand. We do have loom lollipop at the back of the seconds hand. Beautiful beige color. I've never seen this before. Two tone with a dark green, almost army green chapter ring. Everything lines up on this one and on this one. Has Seiko improved their manufacturing? I don't know. Two out of two, perfect alignment of hands and chapter ring. This is a good sign. Sapphire crystal, 200 meters water resistance, screw down crown, tough tool watch for 525 USD. That is an affordable Seiko. And I don't think they've done Sapphire in that affordable of a price. Have they guys? Let me know down in the comments because I don't think so. I think. This is a new wave. I'm thinking they're going to start putting Sapphire in most of their watches slowly yet surely. Now let's compare it next to an SKX. By the way, the secret measurement on this, I got 40 millimeters dead even. That's a secret measurement. So it's going to wear like a 40 because that's what your eye sees the most, the bezel. And here it is next to a 42 SKX. So 42, 42. SKX looking a little bit larger. Yep. And the thinness, it is much thinner than the SKX. 11.6 versus 13.4. And the lug to lug is a little shorter, 46 on the SKX and about 45 on the new Tortoise. Man, this feels like a refined piece. However, what bugs me about it the crown action, it's very gritty. Seiko needs to clean up their machines. This can be fixed easily if you're a modder. Unscrew the back, remove the crown, clean the inside of the crown with Rodico. All right. I believe this is the premium Rodico. I don't like the premium. Get the base model ones. It's way better. The premium one, ugh, I don't want to go into it. Anyways, clean out the threads on the inside and on the crown tube on the outside and it'll be smooth as butter. I don't know why they didn't do that. So it's very gritty and that is a big ding for me. Now we got the date window at 430. That's a huge win. Why? Because you get symmetrical indices. 12, 3, 6, 9. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's how it should always be. Here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. Wears perfectly ultra thin at 11. Right there. It's it's sticking up a bit because the strap is the stiffest thing on the planet. Uh huh. And yeah, so it's going to keep it higher up over there because it's so stiff right here. So this is not a good test. I wish I put it on a rubber or something, but yeah, this strap, man, it's ah, just ah, throw it out. <laughs> this watch just looks great. I'm a huge fan of this new series. Okay, here it is on the time grapher. We did eight rounds dial up. It came in at plus seven. 
This is the 4R35 23 joules hack and wine automatic 41 hours of power reserve 3 hertz. And now we're doing 12 down to get to positional accuracy, what it will rate on your wrist. 8 rounds on both. 8 rounds dial up, 8 rounds dial down. We I mean 12 down and now we got two more rounds to go. 6 6 plus 7. Low amplitude, but that's normal with these movements. A little bit of beat air. And look at that consistency. If this hits seven, seven. So seven dial up after eight rounds and seven, 12 down. Awesome. Great job, Seiko. Okay, there is the loom shot and it is in beautiful blue. I love it. This seems to be a new formula from Seiko. I never seen their blue loom this powerful. Looking great. Now, it doesn't look as blue in real life when I look around the camera. But just to give you a better visual, if I bring a turtle dial into the mix right there, you can see, yes, it is a lot more blue. All right, but still excellent loom. It's almost like a dive watch loom. Can't complain here. Good job, Seiko. And I love the symmetry. Look at the symmetry. Look at three and nine, six and 12. Beautiful. This is nice. Okay, here it is in the low light situation. That beige khaki dial against those high polished indices, which look black in this lighting. Easy to read, very legible, so excellent job there. I'm a big fan of these, but I do want to see a bracelet and I want to see a different insert. Fix up the crown threads, please. Yes, I'm being picky, but I'm allowed to be. Why not? I'm the customer. <laughs> but overall, as is, it's a great watch. $500 for 200 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal, tough tool watch from a brand with pedigree. It's a winning combination, and I can see these doing very well for Seiko. I think they hit a home run right now, and I think these are great, especially because the alignment is perfect. Um, yeah, just all around positive vibe on this one. So guys, check down below. We have a link to Amazon. If you shop on Amazon, anything you buy, doesn't matter. As long as you get there with our link, it helps support the channel. And we have Wolf watch boxes direct to their website. We've got some amazing watch boxes. I think they're awesome. Check that out as well and check out our new merch store. And if you want to buy these watches, check out Kavar Jewelers links down below in the description. If you have any questions about purchasing, email me also in the description and I'll see you in the next one.